evening, Utahns wanting to enjoy the last few weeks of summer before the kids go back to school may run into a few problems this week. Several reservoirs are beginning to see algae, including one treated for these blooms. The other problem, with temps remaining high, wildfires continue to compromise the state's air quality. We do have team coverage for you tonight, breaking down on just how this could impact you. Let's start things off with Shelby Lofton, who spent the day talking with officials about the closure of Manaway Reservoir. The project there last September aimed at killing off harmful algae hit a snag. Shelby, what happened? A product used for algae mitigation was showing promising results, but unfortunately, the algal blooms are back here at Manaway Reservoir. But crews are not giving up. In the middle of summer, people around the globe are flocking to water, including Paris, where the River Seine did not pass water quality tests, leading to a delay of some of the games. What's in the water is also top of mind here in the small town of Manaway. So we've seen the algal bloom appear every year. A product from Blue Green Water Technologies designed to mitigate the algae problem. By us sinking that carbon to the sediment level and then allowing it to go back into the natural processes, uh, we restored the biodiversity. Appeared to show a breakthrough. So we saw almost an immediate improvement in the clarity of the water. But a few weeks into this summer. Results from our water testing that showed us that the algal bloom was most likely going to return. Crews took several boat trips to do a spot treatment with the same product they used before. Maintenance treatment to see how it goes. And we're hoping that it will uh, resolve the algal bloom for the rest of this year. This time, they're targeting areas where they can see the green scum. The first time the product was used, the cost was covered. Not this time. But when the mayor made his budget for this year, he included a, a follow-up treatment. Now, Brigham City will need to see if the price tag is manageable. We'll have to evaluate whether the cost of ongoing treatments is worth the, the effort. If it works here, it can be a game changer for all bodies of water in the state. 50% of our oxygen comes from water bodies around the globe. And when these water bodies become infected by harmful algae blooms or red tide, there are no longer photosynthesis is taking place. Sabin says clean water means better swimming, boating, and fishing for locals and visitors. We hope that this works. Brigham City plans to completely reopen the reservoir tomorrow. In Manaway, Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.